So this Reno Paladin deck is basically uh, your classic Nazoth Paladin deck. And I've tried this classic deck before. I noticed that Paladins didn't run that many duplicate cards, so might as well run Reno. And with the addition of Ivory Knight, that's one of the reasons to possibly run Reno since I don't need double forbidden healing. Maybe. Ivory Knight is the only card uh, currently in this deck that is from the new expansion, so one can only question why it's worth revisiting this deck. Question indeed. I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. This deck was never that bad, is also the thing. It's possible that Ivory Knight pushes it over the top. The one card out of 30. It's possible that it's the different meta that'll push it over the top too. Maybe it's just hopeful dreaming. Dreams of riches. Dreams of control decks. I'm a dreamer. Maybe I kind of wanted to get a baseline on new deck creation too. Since the Taunt Warrior did so well yesterday, I get to figure if any of the decks I create will do well because of the competition and or the decks. Or maybe Taunt Warrior is actually good. New card. This might be the missing link in uh, in Reno Paladin. It's not running two copies of Equality and two copies of Consecration were the main pain points of the deck, and and for two Forbidden Healings, but Forbidden Healings replaced by Reno. As well as every night, and every night sometimes can get the consecration and or the equality. So maybe it'll all work out. Handsome Reno's here. He's got seven on the board, fifteen with the uh, sixteen with the savage roar, and only the savage roar. Uh, every night maybe four four. Karen pretty slow. I wonder. I think Ivory Knight's the right call here, or maybe a uh, keeper Voldemort trade in the hero power. Uh, it might be better. None may steal our secrets. He doesn't have that much power on the board here. Okay, now that's pretty scary against uh Savage Roar though. 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. He's got 16 damage with Savage Roar. Probably a decent time to play Reno since I have Forbidden Healing. Or Ivory Knight. Ivory Knight can be like the stopgap measure. So I'm afraid of Savage Roar. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 16. Ivory Knight will probably put me out of range. And then I play the Reno. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to gain about 4. So then I don't lose to Savage Roar plus like swipe. Unleash the beast. I would have preferred to get a useful spell. But oh well, right? If 
5, 6, 7, 9, 19, 22 damage. Threatened with Savage Roar. Minus 7 be 15. Mm. It's probably the safer play there. Having to play around Savage Roy again is pretty annoying. That's pretty fun though. For for the uh, for consecutive four turns, I might play healing cards. Last turn I played Avery Knight, and this turn Ragnaros. Next turn, maybe Reno or Forbidden Healing. And the turn after that, maybe the other one. If he goes all out, protect the face. So if I use the Eadric, Eadric, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 14 damage. Hit that in Tyrion, he has 3, 6, 8, 9, 19 damage. It's probably slightly better. I just have to wonder whether or not I should also have Forbidden Healing, because I super have the game. Kind of. Put your faith in the light. If he has Mulch, 3, 6, 8, and 9. I also have a 50-50. Here. I think I'm so close that I should just forbidden healing for two here. Since I have the Reno. Things are about to turn away, turn around for a big way for me. Mm. Yeah, Alright. <laughs> Edric forbidden healing this would guarantee the heal on me. Huh, that might have been a good play. I actually think that was a really good play. That would have been better. But this is uh, also, I think, a super winning position. I needed exactly two healing, and I have Reno. Not like he can burst me twice, so uh, the goal is to be able to survive one of the bursts. And who knows, two health might sing it. I was setting an example for Rag, exactly. One, two, three, plus eight is eleven. <laughs> One mana, two, two. Sure is a bad top deck in the late game. Where shall I strike? What if that was charged? One, two, three, seven, seventeen. Oh, that would have been lethal. That would have sucked. I mean, if he had a uh, specifically. Savage Roar. I will not hold back. Justice. Seven Eleven was a delicious job. Well played. Well played. Look at the cute beast druid. Beast druid used struggle. It's not very effective. Mostly despair, to be honest. How much? For justice. Menagerie Warden is not printed yet, but it sure would suck to draw that if you had no beasts and you were top decking. Random thoughts. But if that's the case, you probably lose anyways. Juju timing. Let's 
the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. I wonder if my reinforce will get serious value here. It seems like it can't can't not get serious value. What the? No, there's no way. <laughs> what? Maybe you wanted to attack with Huffer? The light protects me. With a cheat in my hand, I feel like I can take on the world. <laughs> that many hunters right now, huh? Maybe he's faced a lot of the secret hunters. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. That was a mistake. Oh, the despair. Five mana draw two. I'll take it. Good enough. Look at those value trades. I can do whatever I want. I wonder. I feel bad for him. Question of which card to play afterwards. I guess Baron. When the curator comes in, I'll probably replace uh, Baron Geddon for Corrupted Seer. The Murloc. The six mana one. For justice! I'm still super winning. He's just being annoying though. For justice. For honor. I should set up. Oh no, I can't. Yep. Uh, maybe humility was better. It's slightly better. Doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it would have been on Huffer. Wow. Oh, 
shall be mine! I will fight with honor. How's Ivory Knight doing? So far, I have very high... I have a very high opinion on Ivory Knight. I think it's doing really well. Isn't as scary if it only has two health. Put this apple on your head. Why do you fall? Get it out! Get it out! Hmm, they're degreed? They're degreed. Pretty nice how they survive. How many knives did he throw? Two. Okay. I guess that's kind of expected, right? Consecration kills off those two guys. And it could alternatively Kodo and kill off one guy. The Colosseum is probably going to enter play next turn. I think getting this in play is best. For justice. Next turn I think I have to I guess I'll play Consecration. I was gonna play Sylvanas, but now I won't. Yeah, yeah, head versus zoo. Gonna be quite a tentacle duel in here. Hmm. I'm thinking the Colosseum is not the best play here. If I leave four up though, I'm probably gonna die. Unless I play Forbidden Healing. Maybe Forbidden Healing is the way. Move quickly. It's pretty hard to play the Forbidden Healing, I guess. Now the question is I rather would I rather have four health or I'd rather have a guy? Well, since it's AoE soon, I'd rather have four health. Who's actually really good for me? It ends up that a tentacle will win the Colosseum duel. Two two tentacle. Nine mana usually doesn't get much, but it's pretty good nine mana play. Just a card, True Heart. And guys are generally pretty bad against Zoo. Maybe Sylvanas? I can only play one of these cards. Edric removes 4 damage only. Just a card, True Heart, creates the most value. 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. And we'll do Just the card, spends the most mana. And the other cards all barely do anything? If he kills my guys, he's not attacking me anyways. <laughs> the 
Ah, somehow might still lose. I think I actually shouldn't attack into that. Yep. Should leave them around. The Tyrion sword will kill him. Put your faith in the light. How much? With in conjunction with a guy in the Baron, something like that. Of all turns, he played that turn pretty well. For justice. And bam, the final AOE. <laughs> Seven damage would be very close. Wow. I wonder if he had a way to win off of that. I don't think so. Maybe with different positioning or something?